My name is Frankhard Herbst and I am part of the product management team for Business by Design. In this video, I would like to show you one of the new functionalities that we are going to deliver with the new release 2005. Um, this is about contract management in Business by Design. And uh, here we have introduced two new functionalities, two, two new use cases that I would like to, to explain to you. So uh, the first one is about being able to recognize in the contract itself if a contract item has been renewed automatically or manually. Uh, the second use case, the second functionality, um, it's about renewal rules on contract items. So, so far in Business by Design, you could not remove a renewal rule from an item. So, and here we had lots of questions and incidents coming from um, customers and that there is a need for that. So, and for sure, this is a, a use case, a very valid use case that contracts are being updated during time um, and in some point in time, maybe you need to cancel the renewal uh, rule so um, that the, the contract, the item, uh, can stop. So and this is also something that we have added to 2005. Let me show it to you how it works um, in a by design system. So for that, I just switch to a by design tenant. Here I have already prepared some data for you. So I am in work center sales order in the view contracts. I have prepared already the contract for one two. And what I am going to do is just to open this contract by clicking on edit. So here on the tab items, um, here you can see immediately that we do have a new column. This one here that is called renewed automatically. This is a flag. And uh, if this flag is set, so if you have a check mark here in this checkbox, this would mean that the system is renewing this contract item automatically. So you will find this column, this new field um, in the hidden, uh, uh, hidden fields. So if you want to use it, you need to just open here the personalization mode and make this column here visible. And then you immediately uh, can start using this functionality. The second one, it's about the renewal rules. As you all might know, when you create a new contract uh, and you go into the renew and cancellation tab, here you can maintain a renewal rule. This renewal rule is being then copied to all items that you create for this contract. All right here you see we have here five items for, for this contract. Some of them are completed, some of them are in process. So um, and let's take for example here um, the item number 50. You see here we have the renewal rule, new item, one month before redetermined price. So and this one is the same that we have on header level when you create for the first time the contract. So what you can now do is just to remove the renewal rule from the contract item um, that, that you wish. Here, what I do is just to, to select the number 50, select the renewal rule, I delete it, right? Then I can just save it. And the contract is now being saved without the renewal rule, right? I will just close it, uh, refresh the screen. I open again the contract. And you will see in the items that now item ID number 50 
has no renewal rule anymore. So that would mean this item will not be renewed um, in the future. So uh, this was also a very uh, asked question for from many, many customers. And now we uh, could deliver it to you with the release 2005. I hope you like what you have seen and you can make use of it in the future. Thank you very much and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.